Welcome back to a little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be looking at a macro called cond. Um, and it's useful in cases where you would otherwise have a bunch of nested ifs. Um, so we can see here that we've got a function that takes x and then it checks if x is equal to zero, it's going to return the string nothing. Um, if it, this, otherwise, if the number is one, it's going to return the string something. Otherwise, if it's less than four, it's going to say a few things. And otherwise, it's going to return the string says a whole bunch of things. So if we just test this out, so test zero uh, with zero, we get uh, the string nothing. One, two, three. And now we're up to the next one, four. And a whole bunch of things uh, will be used for every other value. OK, so as silly as this example is, um, it's also very ugly. <laughs> Two qualities we love. Um, so let's tidy it up. What we're going to do is we are going to replace this uh, with cond macro. And the way it works is you write cond, and then you have a bunch of clauses. And the first thing in a clause is the test. So we'll have x is 0, and nothing will be the result. OK? And then we do the next test, equals x1 something. And we just carry on like that. In fact, it's very easy. We'll just take this and remove this if, and do a bit of reformatting. In the last case, we always want the last case to happen. Um, so we just put t here. Because if you remember, if, you, if uh, t is true, so if t is always going to happen. Um, so that's it. Now if we do test one and compile it, we will see we get exactly the same result as before. Our very silly function still works. Um, if you want to see what the code this has actually written for you, as cond is actually a macro, um, you can run slime macro expand one, um, and that will give you the result. Actually, I'll just run that now, and you will see on the, oops, it was actually telling us in the mini buffer something I need to tell you, which is the other way of doing this. Um, if I just close this buffer, is if I, if you do if you're in Emacs and you're using Slime, you can do Control C and then hit Return, and you get the same expansion. Um, and as we can see, this is exactly what we were writing before. So all that cond is is a transform um, that turns what you've written into a bunch of nested ifs. Um, the only difference is this the down here, which is a type declaration. We're not going to go into that today, but it's just something the implementation decided to do. So that's it. That's conned. Thanks for watching.